I think there is a, a very wrong narrative being generated. It is being perceived by some section of the people or being propagated or mispropagated by some section people, some, some section of the people. And uh, it is not a question of who the chief minister will be. It is not a question of uh, a chief minister who should be from where. The question is to have a government, a government which is capable of free the state from the kind of plundering that it has gone through in the last five years. I think the mandate is completely indicative of that desire and thirst of the people. You look at people, how they have um, spoken through their right to franchise, through this mandate. So I think from the day one, what we are saying is the issue here is not an issue of whether the chief minister should be from any community. It is a question of people from the three hills coming together and look at the binding responsibilities vested upon us through this mandate in ensuring that all that we do is for the larger good of the people and for protecting the interests of the state. When I say this, I repeat, for the larger good of the people and for protecting the interests of the state, it is because, as you have witnessed in the preceding five years, the state has been subjected to kind of plundering that people have seen. You have seen, everybody has seen. It has been reflected, carried in the media, electronic, social media, print media. It has been carried in the national media. So you are aware of what has happened in the last five years. So therefore, is it not the responsibility of the political parties to really understand the sentiments of the people, the sentiments of the people which revolves around 